I had been used to more traditional forms of, of teaching. Uh, you have a standalone unit in science, you teach your standalone unit. You make sure that the kids understand vocabulary, content, and they pass the test. And I was very good at that. Through this inquiry-based, project-based learning approach, my teaching has completely changed. A super unit is a way that we organize our content to allow us to bring the best parts of every single subject together to deal with one problem or one idea in particular. In the past, we used to treat subjects as boxes, right? So you would be uh, learning math, you would be uh, learning social studies, art, and we know that that's not how the real world works. I think inquiry itself is, is coming to its golden age because it fits very well in the context of our time. When our kids grow up, they'll need to be critical thinkers, collaborators problem finders and problem solvers. That way of thinking won't be new. The first super unit we did this year was called Kaleidoscope. Overall, we wanted students to come out of this unit knowing that by learning more about others around the world, they can also learn about themselves. Second grade did a unit called the Olympians. During that unit, they were learning how to develop strong minds, strong bodies, and strong spirits. Part of what we do is to make sure that it's articulated and growing throughout the grades. We know that going into fourth grade, their first unit is going to be their G4 talks. We're ending the year right now pitching community improvement ideas because that's exactly what they're going to be doing walking into fourth grade. They came up with a list of things such as smoking and healthy eating, proper fitness, uh, playing sports. Campus Rangers is a super unit that we do in first grade and it builds on the work that's been done in kindergarten. Our driving question being, how can we help organisms to thrive? We're gonna use lots of different subject areas to help us answer those questions. What the students really got a lot out of in this super unit was working together and collaborating with another student. Students have been working on their speeches, but they've been also learning the arts, the technology, the math, the science. The EC is really the best house for transdisciplinary thinking. They don't really stop and say, now it's social studies time. If we were going to talk about what we would love for this all to look like at the end, it would look much more like early childhood. EC is where we do our discovery learning. Where do we live? Little houses. What does it make, all those buildings and houses? A city. We really sit down and look at what is best practice in curriculum so that when they move on, they have a firm academic footing. What's great about the super units is that it really is a collaborative effort from the entire elementary school team. We meet with our curriculum director and our principal to kind of lay out the bones of, of the unit. We wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for our coaches because they know what's going on in every level. I usually come in for the super unit planning meetings and I listen to the content objectives that the teachers have already developed and then attach different language concepts that will allow the students to be the most successful during a unit. I'm just noticing that students are able to make connections between subjects more easily. I was just blown away that they were really connecting these things and were bringing it into other areas of their life too. With super units, students are getting all the content as before and in a deeper, more meaningful way. It was a great moment when school education was really affecting how they were making their decisions outside of school. They take ownership over the content learning in a way that I've never seen before, and it's super exciting.